How's everybody doing today? My name's Nick or Pesmentiero, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Mod Engine 2 when modding Elden Ring for PC. This is a really important video for you guys to watch because anytime you go and basically download a mod on Nexus Mods, you're going to look in the description of the mod and it's going to tell you you need Mod Engine 2. So for example, we're going to go on Nexus Mods here and just click on a couple mods. So boom, if you want this one, you need Mod Engine 2. And the mods that don't say that you need Mod Engine 2, it's because they actually already have it integrated into their download. Like for example, the Convergence mod right here or Elden Ring Reforged. If you were to install it, you'll see Mod Engine 2 in the installation folders. Regardless, let's get started. So right here is the installation for Mod Engine 2. I'm gonna have it linked down below. I know it says Armored Core 6 right here, but don't worry, it works for multiple games. But essentially, you're gonna wanna scroll down here and you're gonna wanna click Mod Engine 2.01 blah blah blah, and it's gonna install. And once it installs, see, as you can see, I already have it installed on my computer, but I'm doing this for an example. So right here is the download. You're going to want to extract it using WinRAR. All right, so then once you have extracted that, you'll have it right here. So, I mean, I think I've been messing with the past couple of days, so I have it sitting over here too, but this is the one we're doing for the video. So right here is Mod Engine 2. And now that we have it installed, I'm gonna show you how to insert it into your game folder. The easiest way to access your game folder is you're gonna wanna open up Steam and you're gonna wanna find Elden Ring in your library. Whenever you find Elden Ring in your library, you're gonna click on the little cog. I'm just waiting for this to boot up so I can show you. Okay, you're gonna wanna click on the little cog right here on the right, manage, browse local files. And that's gonna open up your game folder. You click on right here, game. And then right here, as you can see, I have a couple different builds of Mod Engine already in my game folder. I don't mix every single mod I download just so I can, you know, it'd be a crazy cursed experience if you merged every single mod you ever played. Basically all you're gonna do, so right here we got our mod engine, you're gonna wanna click that, and drag it over into your game folder, and so this is the one we just dragged and dropped in, mod engine, and then so right here, a couple quick things, you can delete this Armored Core 6 and Dark Souls 3 files these ones as well the reason i do that is just to keep it simple and streamlined so you don't accidentally click on the wrong bat file or whatnot to boot the game it just makes it a little easier but now that you have mod engine 2 inserted into your game folder it's time to maybe throw a mod in and test it out so whenever you install a mod you're going to insert all mod files into the mod folder right here you don't want to put anything into the mod engine 2 folder that's the application itself so whenever you download a mod you'll open up this mod folder and for example over here i have a couple already installed so let's just check out the master chief spartan armor okay so master chief spartan armor right here detailed parts so this is the folder we're going to want to drag and drop into the mod folder Quick note, whenever you boot up Elden Ring using Mod Engine 2, you want to launch it from this Windows batch file, the one that is in the Mod Engine 2 folder. If you don't launch it from here, none of the mods will be integrated or active while you play. So we're going to boot it right here with this batch file. And now that the game's booted up, let's check out and see if the mod applied. And look at that, guys. Here is the Master Chief armor in Elden Ring. So the mod did correctly apply. So that is just the easiest method I can explain to you guys to use Mod Engine 2. I really hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments. If this video was a help, make sure you like and subscribe for more Elden Ring modding videos and tutorials. So thank you all so much. I hope you have a great one and take it easy.